I'd learned my lesson, and I wasn't going to miss this time. That's it for this program and for this series. Why don't you come to England, though, uh, this summer? Because all the birds have got great tits. Look at this. <laughs> just kept getting faster and faster until the inevitable happened. You know when a dog's doing its number twos, that kind of arched back thing? That's what it is. Hideous. I am a driving dog. Right, this is it. Uh, it's called the C plus C, and it costs fifteen thousand pounds, which is a lot. But that's not my biggest worry. Okay, here goes. Expensive. Because I always thought, you know, an airbag going off would be like resting your head in a big fluffy pillow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's like it'd been hit in the face with a wrecking ball. You have a crash, oh no, and then boom, shock, it hurts. I didn't like it. <laughs> bought a new family car. Very excited. I bought a second hand Land Rover Defender, big station wagon thing. It's, uh, it's a special edition. It's bright yellow. They don't make it anymore. And uh, because they don't make it anymore, they gave us a pot of, of yellow paint to go with it to touch out any little scratches. Oh, yeah. First day in it, family piled in, dog, right family, a new adventure in our new car, two miles down the road, let's go for our first fill up in a petrol station in our new car. Went to turn left, I looked across and saw my wife holding the pot of paint that must have pressurised in the heat or something, because everything apart from her eyes, everything was yellow. <laughs> the entire, the carpet, the ceiling all dripping off, the windscreen all yellow, looked like a teenager's mirror, it was just <laughs> ruined. Like discovering somebody really grey and average like John Major is a shagmeister. I haven't felt this alive since this morning when I was chased by a bull actually, but it's an unusual kind of day. It's mid-engine, I reckon I'm going to give it a bit of the old Scandinavian flick. <laughs> I may have, have overcooked that a bit. You know the Institute of Advanced Motorists, this lot? <laughs> the wheel shuffles. The wheels, they always yes. drive. Yeah, what do you think I meant? <laughs> <laughs> they always drive. Anyway. Yeah. How many gears you got on your bike then? Nine. Nine? My mountain bike's got 21. Nine's all I'm going to need. Yeah? What's the chances of you falling off? Not much chance. We'll see. That's very weird. <laughs> this is a bathroom appliance. It is it's plastic. plastic. When I went for the test, I had to fill in a huge form that said, I hadn't murdered anybody, I wasn't psychotic. And you could drive a car. I could drive a car, I wasn't going to overthrow the British government. And then I had a medical. At no point did anybody issuing this ask me if I had a sense of direction. <laughs> 
was slowing down to stop. You know how you get a bit impatient, you think, oh, I'll just open the door. Fortunately, I looked back at the speedo and I was still doing 70. <laughs> it's no wonder Michael Schumacher retired. He's slower than me. It's time for a rare dose of the real world, because I've been driving the sort of car that people actually buy. <laughs> Was that smile a bit too camp at the end? <laughs> We've really wasted the viewers' time. We've, yeah, a lot of it as well. I mean, how many cars did we start with? We started with 27 cars or something. We've narrowed it down to one. And we don't like it. And we still don't like it. <laughs> 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 Bollocks, I think I might have just clipped Lisbon. You have to have a car registered between 2002 on an 02 plate and 2004 on a 53 plate. That's the important bit. It's got to be in that range. I don't think it's a 53 plate. Ten. Five pounds. Is it 53? Five pounds. Is it? Five well, pounds? Five no, just is it? It's 53. It is 53. Okay, so... <laughs> I'll... That won't stop the Mini. Partly because it's not substantial enough, but mostly because you built that in front of that slope and the Mini is coming down that one. Right? <laughs> right up. What a complete... Okay. <laughs> Some adjustments. Did nobody tell you? No, no. obviously, <laughs> or I'd have built it over there. <laughs> that is fairly embarrassing. <laughs> Look, it's not difficult. Ice hockey is basically the most violent sport in the world, bar none. So, so if you bite James? Oh yeah, no. That, I mean, if it gets really, if if there is a death, mm -hmm. then you you have to put somebody in the sin bin. And that's when I blow my horn. Yes, if it all gets really nasty. So I have to stop the game and blow this. Yes, that's so it. That's using just you. The ends come off. That's him. That's lovely. <laughs> Great, isn't he? Give him a megaphone. He's happy. What's this? Uh, that's um... that's a tooth whitening kit. <laughs> <laughs> It was just a theory until a moment ago. The expert guys who did the telemetry that was on the car, you know, the computers and stuff, they said I had the reactions of a fighter pilot. <laughs> you didn't say it was a World War I fighter pilot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm in my sop with cattle. Wouldn't I wouldn't leave. Yeah, nice. Exactly. No. We have learned an important lesson today, thanks to it, Richard. Do please remember, speed kills. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> How do I tell James to slow down? Oh, that's brilliant. We call him on this. What? Tell him to slow down. Could you slow down a little, please, driver? James? Yes, what do you want? Can you see us? Yes. Yeah, very funny.